In many parts of the world, diesel locomotives are the primary hauling power for trains. A diesel locomotive is similar to a road vehicle in having an internal combustion engine as a primary source of power. However, the similarity ends there. An internal combustion engine works efficiently only in a small RPM band. At very high RPM, the engine can explode. A road vehicle can obtain the required torque from an internal combustion engine with a limited number of gears. But a rail locomotive, which may have to haul around a thousand tons of load, would require an impractical number of gears to extract the required torque from an internal combustion engine. An electric motor can provide maximum torque at very low RPMs. Therefore, a diesel locomotive uses an internal combustion engine to drive a generator that produces electricity. Diesel engine of a locomotive runs at a modest 900 RPM to produce the required electrical energy to power the traction motors. To sum up, a diesel internal combustion engine drives a generator to produce alternating current. The alternating current is set to the required voltage by a transformer. The alternating current from the transformer is fluctuating and cannot be fed directly to the traction motors. Therefore, a rectifier converts it to direct current. The direct current is converted by an inverter to three-phase alternating current which then powers the traction motors. The diesel engine is cooled by a radiator and the heat produced by the transformers, rectifiers and inverters is dissipated with blowers. A modern diesel electric locomotive is essentially an electric locomotive that carries its own onboard power station.